What's up everyone? Welcome back to Cuban Missile Cards. Today we have some Pokemon. Um, I know that I've done a lot of videos on sports cards, but Pokemon is something else that I love. As you can see by the picture of the Elite Trainer Box wall and my Pokemon collection that I have that should be popping up in the video right now, Pokemon is something that I do a ton of. And I was at Target today and came across some Fusion Strike, which is really surprising but awesome because the set is supposed to release on Friday. I know there's been some cards out there from early release boxes that have been out with um, some pre-release events that are going on at local game stores and things like that. But to find regular retail product just out in the wild right now, super lucky. So looking forward to ripping into some of this. I got four blister packs, one of each art, which they look awesome. Move the ETB off to the side because we'll do that in a second. But the pack art for these just looks so good. Um, looking forward to ripping into these. So let's get into it. Definitely hoping to hit the VMAX Gengar. Um, that would be, ooh, interesting new code card here. So that's a new change. I don't know if that's a white code card, a green code card, or if they've just changed code cards, but we've got Energy, Mag Cargo, Charger Bug, Judge, Growlithe, Phalanx, Morpeko, Smeargle, Quillfish, and a Tyranitar V, nice. Solid hit, good looking card. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see that a little bit better. Next we got our Genesic pack. It'll tell us, so that was or appeared to be a white code card and we did have a hit. Again, maybe a white code card, not sure. Four from the back. Energy, Bug Catcher, Wigglytuff. My wife will like that. She loves the knit cards. Phalanx, Zora, Shelder, Caterpie, Drillbur, Shinx. Oh, we got something good. Sizzlepeed. Full Art Shauna. Nice. So two for two so far on our packs. That's really solid. Love collecting the Full Art Trainers. Also nice to hit a waifu. Those tend to do <clears throat> well and be a little bit more valuable long term. And I'll sleep up this Tyranitar as well. So again, don't know if all the code cards are the same or different. No, we'll see. We've got two hits, so we have nothing to compare it to. I'd be fine to not know and just keep getting hits, but we'll see if that can happen. So again, same looking code card. Four from the back. Energy. Beware. Dragolok. Corvusquire. Clauncher. Growlithe, one of my favorite Pokemon. Stuffle, Sigilyph, Toxel, Mercactus, Greedent V Alternate Art. Let's go. These single packs are being incredibly kind to us. Last pack for the singles. We won't break into this ETB, but dang, we're already ahead of the game. That Greedent V, such a cool card. Again, same code card, so are we going to get lucky for the fourth time in a row and get another hit? We'll see. Energy, Corvusquire, Sandslash, Swaldoon, Makuhita, Panpour, Seawaddle, Skarmory, Jinx, Dupiter, and a Steelix. So, not sure if the code card's... I've changed it or not. White and green is still a thing. We'll see. Um, we're going to find out here in this Elite Trainer box. So, going to rip into this. This wants to open for me. Make the hole a little bigger. So we've got the little booklet. First, going to look through this. Obviously, it's a really thick booklet with how large this set is. Um, this is where the good stuff is. Oh, interesting. My booklet's a misprint. Clearly, they had some lining up issues there. It looks really funky. Huh. Hopefully, my cards aren't misprint. It looks like, yeah, all the alternate art cards are 
the regular ones look normal, but the special cards fell out and are misprinted, huh? All right. And then as always, the inside of the ETB cover always makes a cool little art piece. So I'm gonna slide through this. So you got the Mew, the Gengar, Boltund, and the Genesect. So let's jump into this Elite Trainer Box. So in this ETB, you've got Energy. You've got some card dividers with Mew on it. You've got sleeves with Mew. I have never really been a fan of the Pokemon sleeves, but nice colored dice and damage counter. Never really been a fan of the um, ETB sleeves. They just kind of feel weird to me. I tend to stick to just normal penny sleeves, but to each their own, I got a nice big collection. So now I can't envision that we're just going to keep hitting white code card after white code card. Ah, I'm seeing a difference here. So I'm going to assume that there still is a difference. It's just they changed the card on us. So that's the code card out of this pack. And then this is the code card out of the other packs. So white border versus black border. Not sure if that means anything. Four from the back. Energy. Judge, Excadrill, Trevent, Baltoy, Galarian Corsola, Quillfish, Vulpix, Chansey, Onyx. Yep, exactly. So it appears that the white border code card is a non-hit and a black border code card appears to be a hit. So we'll see if that tracks the rest of these packs. But redesign of the code card, so... Theoretically, no hit in this pack if we're staying true to what was happening. Energy, Farewell Bell, Galarian Lanoon, Stanler, Glossifleur, Panpour, Eevee. That's a really cool Eevee art. Always a fan of those. Shinx, one of my favorite Pokemon. Shelmet, Aesilgore, and an Eveltal. Okay, a couple non hollow rares to start off. We knew that we had to pull off somewhere in here do the code card off screen so we don't spoil what's in the packs now that we know what we're gotten all right energy cook mag cargo charger bug onyx jigglypuff durant panseer minoon huntail and a sarnia nice sarnia v i'll take that Go for the binder. So we've got water energy, spongy gloves, frost moth, simseer, more peco. Smeargle, that's some great art on that Smeargle. Really cool with the kind of like watery color look. Quillfish, Tynamo, Galarian Meowth, Snorlax, love that. Good looking card. And a Gorbis. Four packs left. I mean, we already won with that Greed and V full art. Alternate art as well, not even just full art. Should have a hit in this pack. So we got Energy, Quick Ball, Barrascuta, Kuparaja, Mudkip, my wife's favorite Pokemon, Shantru, Kufant, Impdimp, Snom, no Snom is a fan favorite, Rookidy, and a Deoxys. Fusion Strike, Single Strike, and Rapid Strike. Interesting. I played a little bit of the TCG, um, not a ton. Don't know if that's any good, um, but it's definitely interesting that it has all three. So we got Energy, Crocna, Excadrill, Double, Pancham, that's a great art. Really good look in there. I like that a lot. Galarian Darumaka, Indivi, Growlithe, Phalanx, Steelix, 
and Latias. Cool with the Latias and the Latios in the background. I'll be curious. To see. I wonder if Latios is also in this set and whether or not um, the card looks similar. Last two packs. Three, four. Energy, Heat More, Cook, Morgan, Meowth, Meryl, Leptile, Wooloo, Glossopolar, Pelosand, and there's the Latios. Ask and you shall receive. So looks completely different. Um, different art style, different scenery, etc. So there's the answer to that question. And our last pack of the break here. Four from the back. Energy, Diggersby, Sydney, Crossover Switch, Geodude, Sizzlepeed, Klefki, Pansage, Wooloo, Manatine, and Arcanine. Nice. I'm a huge Arcanine guy. So definitely, a, while it's a non holo rare, I would have liked to get another hit. That ETB was pretty rough to us, just a single V card. Um, I will definitely take this because I'm a big fan of him. So the, the big hits from the box and only four. I mean, it's definitely tough with Pokemon. There's a lot less hits than sports cards, but love Pokemon. And you know what? Charizard's never going to tear his ACL or have a whole controversy that he's not vaccinated or go to prison for driving drunk. So you know what? Maybe it's a safer investment long term. So we got Tyranitar V, really cool looking card there. Sarnia V. Greedent V Full Art and the Shauna. Now let's look at this Greedent V. It's a little left heavy um, and probably a little bottom heavy as well. Back looks fairly clean. Um, probably well more well centered than the front, unfortunately. Um, but still, really cool card. I think this is only the second alternate art that I've pulled, so always happy to see one of these. It's a win in my book. So. Well, that's it for this break. Um, hopefully I have some more cards coming in soon. If you like this and want to see more Pokemon content, let me know down below in the comments. Um, let me know what your chase card is from, from Fusion Strike. Definitely hope to have some more of this, rip into some of this, um, and we've got some more cool sets coming in from Pokemon soon. Also going to be buying some singles and hopefully have some big cards coming in in the near future to show off here. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.